feel a supply of the spirit tonight I feel a new wave of grace I feel the buoyancy of the spirit of God I almost feel like I'm floating on water I feel like I'm walking on water right now I feel like I'm in the clouds right now I feel like I'm Ezekiel standing in the valley of the dry bones and commanding those bones and commanding the east and the west and the north and the south and saying to the winds of the earth saying to the winds of the north south east and west to enter into these bones and let them rise up as an army came to Elijah. Do you know your master will be taken away from him, from you today? He said, nonsense. I know it, but shut up. Keep quiet. Listen, until you learn to tell them to shut up, your expectations will never come. Oh, sometimes you have to look at the doctor and tell the doctor, no, I disagree. You have to look at, at an economist and say you are an expert in economics, but you are not an expert in my God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Ah, you may have to look at a doctor and tell him, doctor, you know about plasma transfusion but you know nothing about by his stripes I am healed and the chastisement of my peace is upon him well I am here my name is Elijah my God is Yahweh my name is Elijah my God is salvation I came to declare to somebody today that it is time to believe in the Lord your God and the Bible said believe in the Lord your God and so shall you be established believe also his servants the prophets shall you prosper I'm standing here right now on the other side of the Jordan I'm standing here right now on the other side of the COVID-19 I'm standing here on the other side just about a week before we start going back to church and I'm telling you it is time for the manifestation of the sons of God that oh brother you should I'm not coming back to church the same way that Quarista is not coming back to church the same way that Osha is not coming back to the same way that prayer warrior is not coming back the same way Prophetically, hear me. The reason why they said 100, <laughs> the number may change. I don't know. But they are saying 100 because whenever a door opens, it is not only everybody who can enter. No, no, no. Some of you listen. You have been so lazy that you have no right to go back to church on the first day. No, you have been so lazy. You were not praying, you were not worshipping, you were living your life anyhow. Instead of communion, you were drinking pito and apetashi and beer. You should be the last one to appear in the church. And start shouting, Yabo, Shiraye, Yaba wasendia, Nase, Enkwanya sundi, Woho, Enkwa. Onyami se, Mumpamu omu no muza enkofi. Desire. Defiance. That is why the people who do the work of God, most of them are the adonkerism people. They are the people who public opinion does not swear. Everybody will tell them this business will not work. They said, I know, but hold your peace. Don't join that church. They say, I don't care. If I perish, I perish. defiance and it was so strange that it was the sons of the prophets look at that verse 3 again and the sons of the prophets came to him and they said do you know that your lord will be taken away from you today now solo the mystery is how did they know it means that these prophets had revelation but they had revelation with disobedience these were the prophets that had the revelation, but they were full of aswandin, <laughs> disobedience and rebellion. Because if you knew that the man will be taken away today, why are you not following him? Ladies and gentlemen, most of the people who deceive you, they quote scriptures. 
They quote the words of Jesus. And they quote the words of Peter. And they quote from the Bible. But they are misleading you. Don't you know that the Bible said in the last days false prophets shall come. Mm -hmm. Then you too you are like it's true. Then they tell you hey watch and pray. Then you too you are walking about it's true. Something may be true but it's not the revelation. And it's not the prophecy. What they were saying was true. Elijah will be taken away from Elisha that day. But the interpretation of the incident is wrong. So he said, you know what? What you know, I also know. Let me tell you people. What is it that your deceivers have been telling you that you didn't know before? You also knew it. But now they are using what you know already to change your direction. So he said, you know what? I know it by you. Let me give you advice. Hold your peace. And they kept going. And wherever they went, the people came again. I read something from Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho said, the fans have given to the Tottenham players a lot. And it is time for them to also give something back to them by taking risk. That is even in football. Ladies and gentlemen, if footballers can take a certain amount of risk for the sake of their fans, you and I must do something for the sake of the kingdom of God. We cannot allow the doors to God's house to be shut. No. And if the president magnanimously says, I have opened it. Whether they say two people are going in, three people are going in, four people are going on. All we are saying is that Lord, we thank you. When Elijah's servant came and told Elijah, I see a cloud like the hand of a man. He said, that is enough. Go and tell Ahab. He should run to Jezreel before the rain stopped him. You know what? 100 will become 200. 200 will become 500. 500 will become 1,000. 1,000 will become 10,000. Am I prophesying to somebody at all? Oh, the thing may start. Whenever it's beginning to rain, what you hear is... Then you hear... Then you now hear... So this hundred is about to increase. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. Oh, I pray. May somebody receive the spirit of defiance. Defiance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Esther said, it is not lawful to go into the presence of the king. But I am going in. And if I perish, I perish. She believed in a cause. Defiance. They'll tell you that business cannot work. You tell them that is what your mind is saying. But I will take a risk. I will invest in that business. They'll tell you you cannot get a job there. Your application. You are just wasting your time. You tell them you know what I believe in favor. It is not of him that run it. Not of him that, that will it. But it is of God that showeth mercy. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Somebody shall desire. And somebody shall defy us. And somebody now scream that word demand. Come on scream it demand. Elisha wanted a double portion of the spirit that was on Elijah. He did not despise the spirit, but he wanted it. Today, many people don't know about the spirit of power. No, they don't know about the spirit. Some are completely ignorant. They don't know. Others know, but they lack the appetite for spiritual power. And some others despise it. No, there are some people when they look at the anointing they feel like vomiting others look at the anointing they feel like walking away in those days who wants to be like elijah elijah was seen like the confucianist of his day elijah was seen like a big time confucianist but elijah said the thing about this man which nobody wants i want it the anointing he carries but nobody wants the anointing and need it. There is something about this man. There is something about this woman. Everybody is running away from him. Everybody is running away from them. But I need them. I need that anointing. I need that grace. I want the thing everybody is running away from. But you know what people? Desire is never enough until you make a demand. I told you. 
Expectation is not a wish. Number one, you must desire. Number two, you must defy something. Defy. Look at nurses. Nurses know that what they are doing is dangerous. But they get up and they go. Because they call them essential duty. It is your duty as a believer to worship God. Oh, but you know we can do it in our houses. I agree. But there is something to we do when we come together. Church has never meant to be an individual affair. We do it individually. And when we come together, we form a bomb. I agree that your salvation is an individual person. It's a personal thing, your relationship with God. But hey, when I build my relationship with God personally, and you build your relationship with God personally, when we come together, then we put the enemy to flight. And when we also come together, we just encourage one another. But I'm talking about demand at this point. Elijah asked Elisha, look at the question. It came to pass when they were gone over. That Elijah said unto Elisha, ask what I shall do for you before I am taken away from you. Elisha looked at the man and said, my desire in this world is not money. My desire is not a car. My desire is not a house. My desire is not carnal promotion. What I want is a double portion of the spirit. My earnest expectation. He said, and I have watched you. When you are discouraged to bounce back. I have seen the evidence that God is Yahweh. I have seen your name is Elijah. My God is Yahweh. And I know that when I go back to the other side of the Jordan, there will be people who are waiting for me to bless them. There will be a land that is barren and I must heal the land. They are waiting for the salvation of God. They are waiting for the deliverance of God. Lands are waiting to be transformed. Syria is waiting for intervention. The land of Israel is waiting for the deliverance from that which called Jezebel. Ah Lord, is that Elijah? Your name is Elijah. My God is Jehovah. But I want us to take it to another level. My name is Elisha. That means my God is salvation. It moves from another level of who God is to who God is and what God does. We want to see more of the action of God. We want to see a double portion of miracles. A double portion of breakthroughs. A double portion of the healing of the land. He says, sir, I need a double portion of the spirit that is upon you let a double portion of your spirit come upon you but today i read something he said ask what i shall do for you so no, he didn't say ask what god will do for you he said ask what i shall do for you somebody said but that is old testament you're a liar even in the New Testament, Peter told the cripple, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give a thee. God has given you the pastor discretionary powers to do some things on earth. He said, what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That means you the pastor. There are gifts that are in you and you have the right to impart the gift and you can also withhold it. Even forgiveness. He said, whosoever sin you forgive, it is forgiven. And when you hold it against them, it shall be held against them. And he said, when you go into any city, if they receive you, leave your blessing and your peace upon the city. But if they reject you, shake the dust off your feet. Many nations are not blessed. Many places are not blessed. Many families are not blessed. Maybe a man of God shook the dust of his feet on you. I bless your house. I bless you. I bless your business. I bless your ministry. I speak the blessing of God Almighty upon your ministry. May you increase. May you be enlarged. I see oil upon your head. Receive a double portion of the grace that is on my life. I pray in the name of Jesus, young man of God, young woman of God, receive a double portion 
of the grace that is upon my life receive a double portion of what is on dr Mason table's head upon what is on archbishop duncan williams head upon what is upon the head of bishop ajina sorry and i pray your expectation is a right expectation you are looking for the anointing is a right thing a thing you should desire and expect from a man of god it's not his house it's not his car it's not his wife it's not his children it's not her husband the thing you should desire from man of god is not a salary it's not a pay rivers of water in them and anytime the waters will dry say the spirit of the lord i bring water into the rivers according to their season wells have water in them and when the wells shall dry up jehovah fills them with water again the clouds sometimes are nowhere to be found but when i will bring rain upon the earth I cause clouds to gather and the clouds release the rains. Tambrosi, Barin Tankama, Elia Bazunze, Zebiniano E, Eye Kabase, Baludanda Mile, Oni Elekehe, Kabletoni Ama, Eye Kosheke, Keleba. I have my servants, say the Spirit of the Lord upon the face of the earth. And they are groaning and they are traveling in pain. And it is the groaning and the travail to give birth. Some of their groanings is like anger. Some of their groaning is like crying. Some of their groaning is like complaining. Some of their groaning is like frustrating. But they are groaning. They carry a baby within them. And they want to bring forth a revival. They want to bring forth a next generation. They have come to birth. But the strength to deliver is not there, saith the Spirit of the Lord. But that saith the Lord. If the next generation can be hungry enough, my people that have conceived the vision will give birth. Because until Elisha sees Elijah go, the mantle will not fall. But the end of this, have I? That said the Lord unto you, Elijah. Any anointing you see at your own level, you can never receive. The only time you can get a mantle, said the Spirit of the Lord, is if you see the Elisha go up. And when you see the Elisha elevated beyond where you are, then the mantle can fall on you. Because the mantle is not passed across, but the mantle falls upon somebody from up. It's with another step into our school since 2016 and they have been here one way or the other have influenced both the students and the, the staff. They also have more or less a package for yearly the girls that excel or do better they sponsor them to the senior high level. It's with another ministry they are being here is the blessing to both the school, the teachers and the entire community. generation shall pull down Elijah and keep Elijah down the Elisha generation will never be birthed but if the Elijah shall go up then the Elijah's will emerge that said the Lord that is why the Jezebel spirit will seek to kill the Elijah's Parusie hey Abanutaka Beyende Lucidi Hakaba, Tabelando Lilia, Iliane Kenyakaba, Tanual Liz, see, Pandu Sikibiha. That said the Lord. Elijah, don't join the world to pull down Elijah. Because as long as Elijah remains on the ground and is humiliated on the earth and is chased by Jezebel, Elisha will never be manifested. Said the Spirit of the Lord. 
when they set social distance and they started distributing food in Kumasi and Accra, what happened? What do He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Am I talking to somebody at all? When they said social distance and they started sharing food, people forgot social distance. I'm telling you, some power and glory is about to hit the church. And when the power and glory hits us, oh, we will see the manifestation of God like we have never seen before. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, where the spirit of the Lord is there, there's liberty and power. I'm not talking about chaos. I'm not talking about rebellion. I'm not talking about disobedience. I'm not talking about lack of common sense. But I'm saying that God knows the affairs of the church. He's building a glorious church without wrinkle, without spot, without blemish, without any such thing. Can I close like this? That anybody who says, I'm in earnest expectation. Number one must be singular. 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 Elijah's focus was singular. His focus was on Elijah. Singular. Let me ask you people. You are focused on too many things. Your eye must be single. Singular. Number two. The expectation must be sacrificial. The man sacrificed everything. Twelve yoke of oxen and came and followed the man of God. Sacrificed everything. Number three, sacred. When he followed the man of God, it was sacred. I mean, he did it as if Elijah was God himself. Hmm, my God is Yahweh. He followed that man as if the man was God himself. He, he said, this man is a man of God. I know he's man, but let me concentrate on the of God. Of God, of God, of God, of God. Went and stood by the river Jordan. Wrapped up the mantle. That is the sum, the peak, the zenith of his faith in the man's ministry. The earnest expectation of the creature will have the manifestation of the sons of God. Parents couldn't afford for me to go to the senior high and now get help from Isuta and our ministry who is taking care of me. They are paying my school fees, doing everything for me. I'm very happy for the scholarship from Isuta and our ministry. And it is my prayer that may the good Lord shower his blessings on them. Eastwood Anaba Ministry Social Transformation Wing has over the past couple of years embarked on various social intervention programs around the country to assist in the drive to alleviate poverty and spread the love of God. We are your eyes that see the deprived. We are your ears that hear the cry of the widow and of the orphan. We are your feet that go to places where you do not even imagine you'll be able to go. But as you empower us, we will be able to do all this for you. Thank you. Issued and our minister. I appreciate their kind gestures and I would like them to continue their help on to be those that are poor that will be able to achieve our aim in future. The Lord bless you as you support the social transformation wing of the Eastwood and Ministries. Thank you.